Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you my favourite blushes. Someone requested for me to show my favourite blushes, that's what I'm going to do. But I was actually looking in my makeup collection, I actually don't own a lot of blushes. Well, for my opinion anyway, um, to some people this might be a lot, but I actually genuinely don't have a lot of blushes. So I'm just going to show you my top, there's a little teaser, top favourite blushes. I hope you enjoy, do let me know in the comments what is your favourite blush at the minute. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey, for starters, if you're just wondering what eyeshadow palette I've used today, this is just so I remember what I use because sometimes I get when I'm doing videos, someone asked me what palette to use, but I didn't mention it. So today on my eyes, I've got the Revolution, no, I Hot Revolution Violet Palette. I don't know what's going on with me today. I just had the vaccine jab today and I just feel a bit out of it. So yeah, I use this palette on my eyes today, just on a simple everyday soft glam. Really liking it. There will be a video on this coming soon, so if it's not already up already, so yeah. Yeah, let's get into these blushes. So, I don't know where to start. I'm gonna start off with this one because I've used it so many times on my channel. This is the I Heart Revolution Rosé Fizz Palette. There's a shade in here that I really like, the blush topper, because I can't imagine using this as a highlighter itself, but this blush is absolutely stunning. It's so stunning for summer. Like, this is the perfect blush for summer. Absolutely love it. It's like a coral pink peachness i really like it so this is probably one of my favorite blushes i've got out of my entire blush collection rose fizz absolutely lovely this came out with the rose palette that they've got i need to do another look at that palette because i'm not just not using it but yeah love it another blush that keeps peeking into my videos is the l'oreal life's a peach i swear this has got to be one of their best sellers on boots or something this blush is just so nice. So if you don't want to go for a typical pinky blush, this peach will, will do you justice. I just think this peach will suit everyone, to be honest. It's so nice. It's got like a, it's got a bit of gold shimmer in there, but it's nothing too crazy. It's not like a glitter blush or anything, but it's just so nice, soft looking. You can easily build it up if you want more pigment, but it just applies on very nice, blends it very nice into the skin. It's just, I really like a nice peach blush and I think this is the only peach blush I've got in my blush collection so yeah I definitely can't get rid of that. So I think I need to mention some shimmer blushes that I've got. Um, I've got a lot of iHeart Revolution actually. So I've got two here. I've got the Angel Heart blush. Again it's this is labelled as a highlighter for face and eyes but it's a typical shade in here which I like to use as a blush. I've also got the Heartbreakers shimmer blush by iHeart Revolution. I absolutely love these. And I've got an oldie but a goodie. This is the I Heart Makeup Bleeding Heart. This used to be when it used to be called I Heart Makeup. So this is the baked highlighter, but again, I like to use this as a blush because I just don't use these as a highlighter anymore. I mean, I think it's a highlighter blush. It says highlighter though. So yeah, this is a very shimmery highlighter blush, but it depends what mood I'm in. Because I, I still do like this. Oh, it looks so pretty. Um, yeah, very shimmery. But how cute is that? I have to be in a specific mood to wear this. So it's not your typical everyday I whip it out kind of blush. But it's like if I'm feeling it, I'll wear that. I really do like it. So this is the Heartbreakers. And they have like different kind of Heartbreakers. So I've got it in the shade Strong. So this is quite recent, this is. This, is, this came out with the Heartbreaker palette. But yeah, again, it's got that peach. Oh, looks so nice. Yeah, you could use this two ways. I like to mesh it all together because I think they look both nice with each other. But this is a shimmer, so. Got a shimmered peach. You can see that, that's so nice. Nicest blush. And then the red next to it. It's just like a ready pink, very Valentine's y. I think this came out in Valentine's. Um, week but yeah those blush that mixed together is so nice on the skin that looks like really nice in the summer too so that's the strong heartbreakers and then we've got the angel heart this is in such cute packaging how cute is that and again if i want a shimmer blush i'll just use these shades here how nice is that i've got no room on the hand this reminds me a lot of the i heart makeup bleeding heart 
Well, I think this has got more different reflect to it. I like that. Yeah, it, it does shift in different lights, as you can see. It's really nice, that is. There's another shimmer blush in a face palette as well. I heart revolution need to do more face palettes because I've only got one like actual face palette from them. This is the Proline palette. Um, so there's a blush in here, a contour, a shimmer bronzer, highlighter, two highlighters in here. But this blush, Ripple, I really do like this. It's a shimmer blush. This is quite soft looking. So that's what it looks like. It, it applies aren't very soft, which I do like, because I do like to build it up. I don't like blushes that are very pinked at first, because it can be off-putting. As you can see, it is buildable. So that is the Ripple shade from the Pauline palette. I need to get this out more often. Um, but yeah, like I said, I feel like I Heart Revolution are lacking in the face department. They seriously need to get a foundation out because that's the only thing that they don't have, I'm pretty sure. So more drugstore stuff. I've got the Primark Summer Storm. I used this the other day and I do forget how nice it is. So the blushes in here, I really do like. So we've got three types of blushes in here. So we've got a dark one which is called Humid, which looks like that. And then we've got one called Degrees. Another peachy and one called Dewy. So that's what it looks like from the summer storm. Really nice that is. I do like the highlighters in here as well. I don't know actually, I don't know if you can actually still get this from Primark. I did get it before the pandemic, that's how long it is. Okay, another blush that is really up there, my favourites, is the Milani Luminoso. I discovered this in 2020 when I did a Boots Pick My Makeup video, I think. I don't know, I can't remember. This is such a nice blush. I freaking love this. Really do. Um, very similar to the ones that we just swatched, but this is, this is just nice. I don't know, there's just something about it. This adds dimension to your face, honestly, like, oh. That is so nice, so pretty. It's got like a sheen to it. Um, it's not like over shimmery, it's just like a sheen, which I really do like in a blush. I just can't go wrong with it. And this, in the summer, would look really nice. My friend from Instagram, she got me this. This is the Benefit Dandelion. I've been enjoying using this. This is so pretty. It's very soft. It's a plain. This is so nostalgic to me because I remember when I first went to my mum's makeup bag when I was younger, she had this. And yeah, I really wanted to keep it, but I didn't really understand what money was back then. I didn't understand that this cost a lot back then when I was younger. But yeah, this is the Dandelion Benefit blush. I really like this because it's got like, again, it's got like gold specks of sheen particles to it, but it's not nothing too drastic. Like... It's so nice, this blush. It's very, very pretty. A very pretty blush for those no makeup makeup days. Yeah, very gentle blush this is. It's probably a subtle one, but a pretty subtle. It's very easily buildable. It's very soft, blends into the skin. It's like a powder format. Oh, it smells so nostalgic, honestly. Very nice. And we've got another Benefit product, which I really do like. This is Get The Pretty Started. This has been in my videos for so many times. Um, California Blush, really like this. This is more pinky. This is more stronger than the Dandelion. It's got more pigment to it at the start, but it's a strong blush. I do like it. But yeah, my goal is to pan this whole palette. I'm sick of using it, but I can't stop using it. A recent blush to my collection, well I got, I think I got this at the end of 2020. This is the Made by Mitchell Liquid Blush. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have got this. This is in the Preach Sugar Shade. I did have a Mango Daiquiria but I sold it on Depop because I just wasn't feeling it on my skin tone. But Peach Sugar, this is gorgeous. It is pigmented at the start. So what I like, how I like to use this now, I put it on my hand first and then I take a brush from the hand and then apply it because this is pigmented but when you start off small gradually build it up i think that's the best way to use it in my opinion if you don't want to go too strong but yeah i really like this and um, because it's a liquid blush it doesn't it doesn't make the foundation underneath look weird it just melts into the skin with all the products it's it's a very nice formula and i really want to get his 
contour ones that he's brought out. So yeah, really highly rate this. On to my last two now. So I, oh, last three, sorry. So I discovered this from my Rocker Box. This is the Annabelle Minerals blush. This is a very gentle, it's like a, it's a mineral blush, yeah. It's in the shade Romantic. That's what it looks like. I don't know why, but this blush I really like with a smoky eye. I don't know what it is, but with a smoky eye, black smoky eye, I like this blush. Because it's got like a grey tone to it, but not to the point where it's like, ew. It's just, it's just nice. I like to wear this with a smoky eye because it's not too out there for a blush. It's not too like pink. It's not too like in your face. It's just like something it's just something and that's what i like about this blush okay so another blush what i've and you know what this is going to be a tongue twister like i keep saying i feel like i keep saying blush wrong so another blush that i got from my rocker box this is in the shade apricot this is by the brand dirty little secret cosmetics and this is their jelly blush so it's like a putty blush so when i press down you can see I feel like putties, that like they, they pan very easily because they move around in the pan. But yeah, I really do like this blush. It's quite nice. I don't think you get a lot of products in there because I'm quite surprised I panned it. But this is very soft. It feels like butter, honestly. Like this formula feels so good. Um, yeah. Got another peachy. This definitely like melts into the skin. It's just the formula. It just really just melts into the skin. And then I've got my last blush. I got this in 2019 when I won a giveaway. This is the Delilah Cosmetics blush in the shade Dusk. Really like this. Again, I like to use this doing a smoky eye. Um, it's just gentle, gentle blush. It's soft. It's pigmented at the start, but once you blend it out, really nice that's what that looks like but yeah they're all my top blushes i actually don't own many blushes it's probably most of my collection to be honest but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video do let me know in the comments what is your one time favorite blush i feel like blush is a huge thing now um i remember back in the day when i was at school everyone avoided blush like it's the plague like just no one used a blush it's really weird time blush is just like a necessity now like everywhere brands are just hyping up the blush which i do really like because i love a good blush but yeah enough of that <laughs> i feel like i've said blush so many times in the video honestly take a shot every time i say blush if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and let me know what else videos you'd like to see i've done a favorite highlighter collection i, I don't know if i've done it i think i've done a favorite bronzer i hope i have um, but yeah, here's my favourite blush. I can't do favourite foundation yet because I still haven't found a foundation that I really, really like to to dedicate it to be my favourite. But hopefully one day that video can come soon. I just need to play around with more foundations because I feel like I'm lacking experience on that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a lovely day now every time watching this and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!